Welcome back to the Archive in Between. Today's broadcast explores one of the many worlds found within the universe of B3215D, the universe in which the Gaian Assembly, a spacefaring human civilization, can be found. Enjoy, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more archive. First surveyed by Gaian Stellar Exploration League explorer Alabeth Matryoshka, Polyphemus is one of four planets in the Midas system, and the only one known to harbor complex life. A thoroughly wet and warm world, approximately the size of Mars, Polyphemus hosts no oceans, instead possessing several continent-sized mud seas, opaque abysses that host many exceedingly strange species, along with the planet's vast mud plains, fungal forests, and spire-like mountains. The creatures that call Polyphemus home bear a strong resemblance in shape and structure to crustaceans on Earth. Almost all possess strong exoskeletons paired with soft interiors, a set of traits deemed necessary by the evolutionary arms race that the creatures of this planet find themselves locked within. Polyphemus' steamy surface is one of the most biodiverse locations yet discovered by the GSEL, but this archival broadcast will only cover a few of its most iconic creatures. Leaping Chitterbeans Sporting unique hydraulic tendrils on all sides of its body, this cow-sized creature's main method of travel involves a haphazard launch into the air, followed by a guided bouncing in its desired direction via selective inflation and deflation of its locomotive tendrils. They feed mainly upon the slithering, slug-like creatures that dwell beneath the stones and in the pits of the great mud plains, using specialized tendrils that act as both hand and mouth to unearth their slimy prey. Sklob Enormous sifting omnivores, the heavily armored sclobs, slowly traverse Polyphemus' mud plains in small herds. Their soft underbelly comprises thousands of small tendrils that serve as both legs and mouths, slowly moving the sclob as it picks through the mud for smaller critters and fungi to consume. Sclobs can live up to 300 Earth years and can grow as large as 50 feet or 15 meters in diameter under the right circumstances. Grubwalkers. Though they appear to be a single organism, grubwalkers are in fact a cooperative effort of up to 200 individual grubs that share a found carapace, usually one belonging to a sclob, as a shelter, much like a hermit crab. These individual grubs specialize in function as they mature, and adult grubs can reach up to 4.5 meters or 15 feet in length. Highly social individuals by nature, entire grubwalker colonies also interact regularly, communicating through a pheromone exchange facilitated by specialized individual grubs. Mud Cows These two-ton isopods are Polyphemus' premier grazing animal, feeding primarily on the variety of fungi that grow on the shorelines of the Great Mud Seas. They roam in herds and sport thick outer carapaces that shield them from all but the mightiest of predators. Mass migrations of mud cows between the mud seas are extraordinary events, with herds comprised of millions of individuals moving as one across the soggy landscape. The Polyphemian Pseudospider Skilled and patient ambush predators, the Polyphemian Pseudospider will bury itself in the mud for days at a time, with only its rock-like carapace showing. Once an unsuspecting creature ambles within range, it springs, impaling its prey with viciously spiked forelimbs. In order to achieve this level of patient pursuit, the pseudospider has evolved to breathe through small pores that cover the surface of its carapace, and is capable of sensing the slightest changes in temperature and movement via a ring of nerves that encircle the carapace's outer edge. Raven Beetles Scavengers and opportunistic carnivores, the owl-sized raven beetles rule the skies over the mudplains. They swarm and devour anything recently passed, pictured here, a deceased sclob and work together to take down anything still living that they perceive to be vulnerable. It is these creatures that pose the greatest threat to visiting explorers. The vast majority of casualties and injuries sustained by explorers and surveyors on this world are attributable to ravenous swarms of raven beetles. The Titanopod Polyphemus' apex predator, the average titanopod will reach a staggering 80 feet or 24 meters in height and 150 feet, or 45 meters, in length. They spend most of their time in the warm depths of Polyphemus' mud seas, only emerging rapidly to snatch unlucky shoreline creatures in their enormous claws before dragging them into the opaque abyss for dismemberment and consumption. Seen only rarely, 
Little is known about the behaviors of the Titanopod, save their hunting strategies. Observing them in their murky habitat has proven extremely difficult and is an ongoing project by the Polyphemus Biosphere Observational Array. The Forest Rider Polyphemus' gentle giants, the intimidating forest riders, walk tall and long across the surface of Polyphemus. Solitary herbivores, forest riders are known to walk an average of 65 kilometers every day in search of the spores of the towering fungal spires that comprise their primary food source. Interestingly enough, the forest riders demonstrate a high degree of intelligence, engaging with GSEL explorers with a level of curiosity and playfulness not seen in any of the other creatures that call this world home. Work has begun to determine whether they are intelligent enough to communicate with, and if so, how that communication may be facilitated. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video and want more archive, check out volumes 1 and 2 of The Compendium, the archive's first published collections of expanded short stories. Thanks so much for tuning in, and see you next time.